Good morning guys. So in this video, I'm going to be doing my 40,000 kilometer service, which in this video, I'm just going to show an oil change. I've done this many times before, but I just never recorded. Um, and before I proceed, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I document all my services on, on all my bikes. Right now I have my Springfield, as well as a Triumph Tiger 1200 that are parked outside for now. Um, this is a 2017 Springfield and uh, I'll show you what's needed. So you're gonna need five and a half quarts of um, engine oil, 20, you can, I'm using 15, 60, uh, fully synthetic from Indian. You, you could also use the 20W40. Uh, I'm not gonna get into which oil is best. You can choose whatever you want. This bike requires five and a half quarts. Some of the new models, new Thunderstrokes requires six quarts. What else are you gonna need? You're gonna need uh, an oil filter. I got this from Amazon. High Flow HF175 is the model. You can get the one from Polaris. I'm sure you can get a KNN one as well. Uh, this one works just fine. Um, you're gonna need a nice clean funnel. You're gonna need your uh, dipstick uh, tool to remove the dipstick. This comes with a bike. Uh, you're gonna need an oil filter wrench, uh, 64 mm or two and a half inches. You're gonna need a six millimeter hex uh, Allen or uh, yeah, six millimeter hex. Um, for the drain plugs, there are two of them at the bottom, I'll show you that. And you're gonna need some uh, uh, new copper washers. You're just gonna need two of them for the two drain plugs. You're gonna dispose the old ones. And some uh, rubber gloves, cause it's gonna get uh, oily. Some grain pans for the oil. And just uh, some shop rags to clean up and stuff. Okay, so um, you, you don't need to have the bike upright to change the oil but you do need to have the bike upright to check the oil uh, level at the end of the procedure uh, you can have it on the side stand on, while you're changing the oil and then if you don't have a wheel shock I, I do have one so I keep it upright from the beginning but if you don't have one you can have a friend help you um, hold the bike upright when you check the oil level but to change the oil uh, you can leave it on the side stand all right so let me just show you what you need to do first so let me show you from this side the two drain plugs, six millimeters. Ah, uh, get down here. And where is it? Where is it? There is. Ah, oh, there it is. Those two drain plugs right there. Six millimeter. And then the oil filter is on the other side. Right there. It's pretty dirty, but I'm gonna be changing that. And the. I don't need to show you guys this, but. That's the dipstick. Okay, so first things first, I am going to start the bike and let it idle for about two to three minutes to let the engine heat up to operating temperature. So let me turn on my bike. I'm gonna use the pin code because I don't have the key. All right, and start the bike. Okay, so the bike was on with the engine running for about three minutes, so it's nice and warm. Now let's uh, get the oil change procedure started. So first thing first, let's take out the dipstick. Um, let's take out the dipstick to uh, just have a little air pressure pushing the oil down when you remove the drain plugs. Right, so use the tool and remove the dipstick. All right, that should be enough. And you don't need to take it off fully, but just leave it open so there's some air pressure pushing the oil down. So now let's remove, take out the drain plugs. So I got my drain, drain pan set up. I got my six millimeter hex and
Okay, so I've removed the drain plugs. There should be two of them. Hopefully you guys can see it. And there's there's a uh, these old copper washers. So make sure the drain plug has no uh, debris or like parts. So that this is a nice clean one. So it's a good indication that nothing, you know, my engine's fine. There's no crap inside, so it's nice and clean. So you're gonna throw away the washer. You're gonna reuse the drain plugs. Okay, so while this is draining, let's take out the oil filter. Okay. Get this in and crack it open. Should be easy. Make sure you got another drain drain pan because this is gonna get oil as well. Okay. And then you can just thread it out by hand. You can see the oil coming out. Okay, perfect. So let this drain completely from the drain plugs as well as the oil, oil filter. And then once that's done, we can start filling up the oil. Okay, I'm gonna pause. All right, guys, so the oil has almost finished draining from both the oil filter area and the drain plugs. I've got my drain plugs here with new washers. These, these are the old ones that I'm gonna throw away. The new washers on both drain plugs. I don't know what size they are, uh, but the easiest way to get them the way I got them is uh, just go to any hardware shop, take the old washers and then ask them for um, the same size. And, uh, just buy a few they're very cheap uh, if you buy the Indian oil change kit it comes with new washers um, this time I didn't buy the oil change kit I just uh, bought the oil individually 15w60 uh, I've got six bottles here but I only need five and a half quarts one of the bottles actually has only half a quart left because uh, I have half left from the previous oil change so I'm, this is exactly five and a half quarts and uh, I'm gonna move the drain pan away. I'm gonna start threading them in by hand. Um, and then, I forgot to mention, you'll also need a torque wrench, or you can do without, but I use a torque wrench. And you're gonna torque them, the drain plugs, to uh, 15 foot pounds. Um, so let me get that done. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to film it, so I'll, I'll get that done. So. Okay, so I've torqued it to 15 foot pounds. Wipe the area nice and clean with a rag, so make sure it's nice and clean. And now it's time for the new oil filter. So let me get my new oil filter here. Take it out. Take out the plastic. Okay, take another plastic. Now what you're gonna do is uh, take some new engine oil, and you're gonna wanna just dip your finger in the bottle and then coat the, the rubber seal on the new filter with fresh engine oil. So let me do that. So, there you go. So make sure it's nice and lubricated. And the reason, and the reason we do this is uh, when you put the new filter on uh, and when you tighten it, the the rubber is nice and lubricated so it won't crack and also forms a nice seal um, once it's torqued so again before you put the new oil filter make sure you just wipe this area clean okay nice and clean and then with the lubricated filter just start Torque, just start finger tightening it okay so just tighten it I'm oh, sorry just turn it until until the rubber seal makes contact with the bike and you'll feel it so it's still turning okay there you go it starts getting a little you can feel it so it, the rubber seal has made contact with the bike now now what you do is take your oil filter wrench again and you, you're going to want to turn the uh, oil filter three quarters of a turn. 
okay and that's about it you don't need to don't torque it too too much so three quarters of a turn so let's put this in and that's one quarter two quarters and three quarters and that's all you're gonna need okay so with the drain plugs torqued the oil filter in tight not too tight give the bottom areas a nice wipe and the oil filter area as well a nice wipe and then uh, remove the dipstick we already opened it earlier just take it out completely because you're gonna feel oil I'm gonna leave this aside for now and then you're gonna have to you're gonna want to fill up take your clean funnel obviously and you're gonna want to fill up four and a half quarts first so I'm gonna take four full bottles and one half bottle and I'm gonna fill up fill, it, fill the bike up with oil so that's one This is two. This is three. Third one. And this is four. Fourth one. And finally, the half bottle, which I have from before. So half a quart. So four and a half in total, four and a half quarts. Okay. Make sure the dipstick is nice and clean. Okay. Take out the funnel, make sure the oil is funnel is empty take it out and put the dipstick back in tighten it okay so now the bike's got four and a half quarts what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start the bike let me go the other side I'm gonna start the bike and I'm gonna vary the rpm uh, up to 2,500 RPM for about two to three minutes. So let me start the bike and do that. And then for two to three minutes, I'm gonna vary the RPM. Okay, that should be enough. Now, uh, just uh, make sure there's no leaks from the oil filter area and the drain plugs um, and then I'm gonna f uh, if there are no leaks then I'm gonna remove the dipstick and I'm gonna put the last quart of oil in so the last uh, full bottle okay so let me pause okay and the last quart last bottle Okay, all five and a half quarts in, take out the funnel, put the dipstick back, make sure it's clean, close it, okay, all done, 
Now, before you check your oil level, uh, start the bike up again and let it idle for two to three minutes, and then we'll check the oil level. So let's okay, so the bike has been idling for three minutes. It's uh, now at operating temperature. Now you can check the oil. So keep a shop rag handy, uh, kitchen towel. Remove the dipstick. Remember to check oil. The bike must be at operating temperature first. So if you're checking oil without filling oil, make sure it's warm first. Three minutes at idle. Make sure the bike is upright. So I've got on a wheel chalk. But if you don't have a wheel chalk, have a friend help you keep the bike upright while you check the uh, oil level. Okay? So make sure the bike's upright and it's warm. Take out the dipstick. Wipe it clean. Nice and dry. Hope you guys can see this. Nice and clean. Make sure there's no nothing stuck to it okay and then carefully with put the dipstick back in without touching the sides right so make sure the dipstick goes in nice and smooth close it you don't need to tighten it but until it's fully closed and then remove it and when you remove the dipstick again, make sure to remove it carefully without the stick touching the sides because you want to see the oil level, okay? So just remove it carefully without touching the sides. And now let's see the oil level. It should be between the low and the high marks. Sorry, you can't see here. Okay, so I, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but mine is just above the the low mark which is perfect as long as it's between the low and the high mark that's enough don't overfill it um that may cause some problems so mine's perfect so i'm gonna put this back in and now you can use your dipstick tool to tighten it okay and that's it that's oil change done. Okay, one final thing. Do the right thing, environmentally right thing. Dispose the old engine oil properly. And the way, the easiest way to do that is I use the empty bottles from the new engine oil. I fill up the oil oil in that and I'll just take it to any mechanic and drop it off there. They'll dispose it off properly. Don't, do not drop it, pour it in the drain or anything. And that's it. And uh, also with every servicing, what I like to do is I, I have the high flow air filter from Lloyd's, but even if you have the Indian high flow air, air filter, I like to take it out and wash it. So just with uh, water and soap and let it dry fully and then put it back. So I, I like to do that every time I service my bike, every time I do an oil change. So I'll do that as well, but I'm not gonna show it to you in this video. It's just soap and water is fine, let it dry out. Okay, I think that's it. I uh, hope you guys found this uh, video useful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, uh, I think I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.